Alright, hey everybody, what is up? It's XPilotP here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to change the views in Explain 10. And the reason why I'm doing this video is, well, mainly because a subscriber emailed me yesterday and uh, asked me exactly this very question. And um, I thought, you know, before I give you all the instructions, I'm just going to make a video about it, and I was going to make one anyway. So, what the heck? Uh, and yeah. So, the reason why I, um, so I'm in KLAS with a Boeing 747, the default version, and I would have done um, this video with a 757, so it would have looked nicer, but I said, um, I'm just going to do it with an aircraft which every x 10 user um, has, so there are going to be no confusions and no questions to be asked. Well, I mean, that's what I hope. And yeah, so I have here... Uh, my keyboard and little uh, uh, keyboard camera for you guys to see what I'm actually gonna be touching um, in this video. That sounded a bit weird, but it doesn't matter. And I don't know why, but my hands look really disgusting and red and ugh today. Well, I mean, in the video, I mean, in the camera, like they don't look like this um, in real life. So I have no idea what's wrong with the camera. So yeah, so I don't know. Something's also wrong with my mouse. So the reason why I can look around like this is because I am holding down my right shift or uh, my right click button or my right click mouse, you know, button on the mouse, obviously, to look around like this. And but we're not going to be using the mouse mainly. We are going to do. We're going to go to settings, right? So we're going to go to settings, follow my exact instructions, and you will be fine, ladies and gentlemen, okay? So we're going to go to settings, joystick, and equipment. Well, I mean, what I actually mean with what I'm going to show you today is, you know, it's a bit, you're a bit fed up with just this view. You can't really look around. Um, you can, you're pretty much just stuck here. Or you can't, you always have to go back to the view that you would like to do in a video and you can't just you know memorize and just go click on the bottom uh, and go there every single time but wait fear not there is a solution which I will show you right now <laughs> where's my map well, there we go so what we're gonna do is go to settings joystick and equipment so settings joystick and equipment don't forget that so we're not going to go to access, we're not going to go to no zone, we're going to go to buttons, advanced, or keys, depends on what you're using. If you're using a keyboard like I am, or any sort of like keyboard or like number pad keyboard, uh, you need to go to keys. Or if you're using a joystick, or any kind of um, flying stick stuff like that, um, you're going to go to buttons and advanced. Now, the first thing that I'm going to show you is how to... Uh, look around or walk through the cabin. So what you want to do there is go to general. So either buttons, advance, or keys. Uh, general, which is here, it's the eleventh place from the bottom. I oh, know it's not. I believe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, it is the eleventh uh, place from the bottom. So click on general, and then you see all these general command buttons. So what you want to do is go to backwards. Or uh, forward, uh, and this is what I'm using. But I'm using a keyboard, so we need to go to keys. I totally forgot that. And then go to general, so the eleventh place from the bottom. And before you want to do that, is you want to go here to the left spot and add new key assignment. So I'm just going to delete this key assignment and delete that one too. I'm just going to add new. There we go. So we're going to click on this one. So on this one, just none, and then go to general. There we go. And go to backward. So this is this is going to allow you to walk backwards. And I want my comma, or I don't know how you call this in English. I mean, comma is how you call it in German. I don't know if it's on the same on English. I my brain's completely done right now. Just finished school and just like oh. Um, so I'm just going to click, click on this one. But you can choose any key what you want from this keyboard. So if you want to have the shift, uh, not the shift, the um, space button, the M, the J, the K to the L to the B, it doesn't matter. It does not matter what you want. But I'm going to go to general and click on the comma and then on backward. Because that's what I want uh, to press when I want to go backwards. Now we're going to do the same thing for forward. We're going to go in none, general, and forward there we go there's forward and click on the dot decimal nice okay so now we have that 
Um, but also what I want to do is actually show you first. So this is how it looks like. Forward, going backward. Forward, going backward. Now this is very, very slow. I'm never going to be able to go to the back of my airplane in a couple of seconds. So I'm going to change that. Choice to get equipment, keys. Now I'm going to click on this one. So on the backwards, uh, so on the comma, so this one that I programmed to go backwards. Now, as you can see, there are three options, backward normal, backward slow, and backward fast. So I'm going to click it on backward fast, so it makes me go a lot quicker. And the same thing for the forward, so forward fast. There we go. But now, it's actually almost a bit too fast. So if they're like very small adjustments that you want to make, then I suggest you do exactly the same thing that I'm going to do right now. And I'm going to go to joystick equipment, same thing, and then click on new ones and click on these two. So the two ones up above, but you can do this again with any other uh, keys that you want. I'm going to click on this one. So what I, I'm going to do, I'm going to go to general, like always. And then this is going to be for forward. So I'm going to do a uh, forward, but slow. So this allows me to go very, very slow. And then the same thing for backward. So general backward slow there we go now let's see how it is so this is fast fast slow slow this is very very slow uh, but it's good if you're doing like cinematic views or like for video like nice zoom in so that's pretty cool but now you're pretty much stuck just going forward backwards forward backward right but you want to go to the side, to the side, and to the side, to the side. <laughs> but normally, if you didn't change anything in your settings, the E button allows you to look le right, and the Q allows you to look left, and the F allows you to look down, and the R allows you to look up. Now, I don't use these buttons really anymore, except for when I'm doing uh, like uh, videos, and next time what I don't do anymore. Um, but I just use my mouse cursor, or my mouse right button, which I already told you before. Um, and if you, if these aren't programmed, uh, like I just said, then do the same thing. Go to settings, choice in equipment, um, and then we are not. Actually, yeah, we are going to go general command, and then if you want to have the E, um, so I'm going to program the E, and then on general. Uh, right, but I'm not going to do that because I already uh, did that once. Why is my DPI so high? There we go. Um, yeah, but now you've got you've got all of this, so you can look to the right, look to the left, look up, look down, move forward, um, move backward. But now there we go. Just going to open this. But now you want to save. You want to save a view so I'm just going to show you what I mean with save a view so we are going to go here okay so we're going to go here um now nah, this does not look like a good view angle except for this actually it does not look bad but it doesn't really look that good so we're not going to go through the staircase which is going to pretty much cheat a bit so we can that's why that's the main reason because we can okay let's see if I like this one um, yeah this one looks pretty cool um, but I want actually let's go through the stairs through this nice uh, let's see I want to have one above the actual wing um, this maybe now I think a bit more and obviously you can choose any view any position in the plane what you want um, let's see where's an open window here's an open window yeah this looks pretty cool so this is so these are the views how a lot of people make their explain 10 videos so amazing and you know when I was starting off I was I was always looking online um, Searching, you know, plugin wing view X Plane 10 or how to get a wing view in X Plane 10. And this is pretty much exactly how they do it. So they go to this position, but now what? If you click on W or your 3D command button, 
then uh, 3D cockpit command button, you know, you're just going to go back and all of this is lost. But, nope, it is not. There we go, moving my air around. Um, what you want to do is go to settings. Joystick and equipment. Like, oops, that's not joystick and equipment. Settings, joystick and equipment. Go to keys or, you know, buttons advanced. And then click on a new one. Oops, backwards slow. I haven't even... Oops, that was that was my fault. Backwards slow. There we go. <laughs> All right, click on a new one. So I'm gonna click on this one. Actually, no. Let's just let's just delete these two. There we go. Delete because I already did this before. There we go. So we're gonna click on a new one. So this is pretty much how it's gonna look later. So we're gonna click on this one. None. So you start off here. Then you go to view. The third one from the top, and then go a bit down. Here we go. And this is what you have to see. The view, 3D copper location, memorize, one, two, three, one, two, three, two, nine, through nine, and ten, obviously. But we're gonna start off with one. Now, we're gonna first click the view 3D copper location hashtag one memorize button. This is the key or button that you wanna press when you wanna memorize the position where you are right now. So I am um, I want to click on the one. So when I want to have um, the one to mem to look at my memorized button, then uh, so this is what I want to click when I want to have that view what I am in right now memorized. Now, but what do you I what so what are you gonna do when you want to see that memorized button? You gotta go to none again. Go to view. So the third one from the top, and click on this one. 3D copper location hashtag one. Now see it says look zero mem. I don't know why it says zero and not one. There's a small problem there, but just do what I did. And I'm gonna click on the numpad on one. So I know that if I wanna have the one memorized, I can just click on this one. Sorry, I had to change my uh, phone thing again. And yeah, so this is um, pretty much what you want to click when you um, want to go to that location that you've been memorized. So now, I like this view. I think it looks very nice. You can see the ailerons and the flaps and the spoilers. I'm going to click on one. Now, obviously nothing, nothing has happened. But if, let's say, I look to the right and I click on my one, on my numpad, which is um, which allows me to look to that, and then it looks straight to this view. So even if I'm in the cockpit and I click on the one, it goes to that location. That's amazing, right? So you don't need to walk through the whole um, plane anymore to go back to that location that you really like. So again, I'm going to redo that. So you want to go to settings, choice and equipment. This is what I did. I clicked on one. So this is the button that you are going to click when you want to memorize that view. You click on this. Um, so here, memorize the 3D cockpit location one, memorize. Then I'm going to choose the one on my numpad and click on location one. This is what you're going to press when you want to see that viewing angle. Let's say I'm in the cockpit, like I, I know, let's go outside. Shift and eight. Here we go, I'm outside. Oh no, I want to quickly do a takeoff with the uh, view from over the window. I click on one from the numpad. There we go, and I'm right here, which is pretty amazing. And now I'm, I'm just going to do the same thing once more to show you guys. So I'm going to go, I'm going to back off. We can have it a bit like, we, we can have it like here. Like there. Yeah, that's pretty cool. We could have it like that, but I think, I think this is a good one. So we're gonna, so we're, we're gonna have it like this again. We're gonna try to do this. There we go. So settings, joystick and equipment. Do a new one, none. View. Go down. Uh, 3D location, memorize two, and I click on two there, and then view. Just hashtag two and click on the two there. So now, when I click two over here, 
I'm quickly going to go to the one what I already preset before. But now I want to go to the one that I just preset and go to two. It's that easy. So let's go to the cockpit. I want to go to two. There we go. I want to go to the other one. Press on one. It's that easy, guys. I mean, you know what? It's amazing. All right. So, yeah. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really hope it was very useful for you guys. And please leave a like if you like this video. And um, I've actually started something new. I've started, I've hooked up with G2A.com. Um, it's an amazing site. It sells pretty much all of the games for PC from, uh, I don't know, from what? Battlefield, uh, Call of Duty, I think even FIFA. So all of those amazing top games from shooters to every single game that you can possibly think of pretty much what are popular. Um, and pretty much for the lowest price that you can find on the internet. I mean, that's at least what I found. And it's an amazing site. Please check it out. Uh, link is in the description. And if you want to earn money, then also check out, I think, I believe it's the first link in the description. If you want to join my team and make money for yourself, then press and click on that first button. But I would definitely recommend you buying stuff from that G2A.com site. And for that, just click on my second link and you'll go straight to that page. And yeah, so again, thank you very much for watching. This has been Xpilot P and see ya!